I'm going to go step by step through setup of auto completion in PyCharm. If you are a VS Code user, you can skip this video and watch one dedicated to the VS. I want to start from scratch, so I don't have any PyCharm project yet. Before creating one, I recommend downloading Python version that corresponds to the one specified in Unreal Docs. As you can see, it's 3.9.7, and that may change in future. This is the version for Unreal 5.1, so please check which one it is before installing anything. Of course, install flow from python.org. If you want to specify a different Python interpreter for the engine, this is possible, and according to the documentation, you only have to set UE Python dir environment variable. I suppose you already have the Python installed, so I will go through the PyCharm setup. Let's start creating the project. First, we have to specify some path for our project, and it shouldn't be in the game files. This is only for our IDE. This is not going to be used in Unreal itself. So, location set to something custom like Python Unreal IDE solutions. Then make sure that the environment uses the base interpreter of correct version of Python. Now let's create. Great, the project has been generated, so go to File and pick Settings. Of course, you can use Ctrl Alt S shortcut. On the left side, navigate to Project PyCharm and Python Interpreter. We want to add this tab file to our Python Interpreter path. However, here's no such button. Also, when you open the Select window, there is no more settings. However, that show all is useful for us. Let's click here. And now on the left side, this small icon is used to show interpreter paths. So here is a plus to add one. And we need a Python stub file. It's in our project, in intermediate folder, in Python stub folder. So let's pick it, press OK. OK again, apply basically everything. And now we have to make sure that it's going to work. The unreal.py file in my case is over 17 megabytes. It may be even bigger in your project. It's quite a lot and due to performance, such files are disabled from being parsed by IntelliSense in PyCharm. To avoid this issue, you have to go to help and find edit custom properties. I already pasted the important line. It's idea max dot max dot intellisense dot file size and file size has been sped to 25,000. That's default value from Epic's documentation. However, if you or some other developer works in C++ and exposes methods to blueprints, each time he does it, he also exposes some code to Python. So the Unreal Py file may be growing. It may also grow with Unreal development in next years. So if it didn't help or maybe stopped working at some point, then try setting this number to higher. After we have changed this setting, we have to restart PyCharm. So let me quickly do that. The only thing left now after the restart is checking if it actually works. So let's create a scratch file. Right click on scratches and consoles, create new scratch file, and let's pick Python type from the list. Now we can import Unreal and let's check if auto completion works. Unreal dot and here's a list of available classes. We can pick something, maybe that aim offset blend space. If you want to read more, then just click with the mouse on the name and it will bring you to Unreal Pi file. It will work very well in most cases. Like here, the aim offset blend space is based on blend space class, which is based on animation asset, which is based on Unreal object. That's great, but in some cases, showing inheritance um, of Unreal objects 
may be incorrect in this file. Remember that this is just the generated stub file and it has no functionality other than helping you. So if you want to be 100% sure that some class is based on another, then you have to go to official epics documentation and check here or check in C++. That's all in this video. I think everything works on your machine and that you will soon play the next video. Bye.